Much appreciated, Coach. Smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. turned to December and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone and no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line. Officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Okay, there's a tone setter. First play from scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly <laughs> that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone down. Just what you said. Setting the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Hey, 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 we got this. throw. Love. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. On play action, it's Brady. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. A carry for Devontae Freeman, who missed most of last season. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Open man has got one, it's complete. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. 
Wait, set. Ready? Hey, Alabama, Alabama. Rock 36, 36 to Mike. Too little, got Pettis. Pettis to Mike. 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 Brady now on first down. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, you need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Brady again here on second and ten. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Chris Godwin, his fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Now Moster, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, a nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. To throw, it's Brady. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Wait, that 53! On first and ten, here's Brady. 
It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll get this way down into Jacksonville territory. It's a big play there for the Buccaneers. 56 yards after 1-7-0 on EA Sports. If there was one area that the coach emphasized in our pregame meeting, it was red zone offense. In a sense, I got from it, and I think you did as well. They weren't real happy with how they were executing previously, so they put a lot of time and effort into it because getting points is paramount. doesn't matter what you do otherwise. Don't leave the red zone without putting points on the board. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. He hits Gronkowski on the out round. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. And now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Chris Godwin with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be taken short. He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. to throw again. Love. And connecting here with DJ Sharp. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That's good for Jacksonville. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. On first down, Love. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Here's second and eight. They'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. 
Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Brady now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Hey, hey, hey. Seven. No Throwing now is Brady. Gets it off to Freeman. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. The Bucks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time it's third and three. Here's Brady. He's got Evans. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On first down, Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches and being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game it's going to take a lot of effort so maybe it'll open things up for some other people well they better figure something out and soon Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. This is Moster. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Third down and 13. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long from the gun. Love. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half.
Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a good result there as that'll get out of bounds and pin them back at their 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Brady now to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. So they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Second down. It's Freeman. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Past the 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again. <laughs> and again. And again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Extra point by Gay is up and good. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This will be taken very short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. The beep. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. If they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. And this is caught. And finally out of bounds all the way down at about the two. A big third down play there for the Jags. 48 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sacked back at the nine-yard line. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Tight down, tight down. There you go. 57. Mike, 50. Here's Moster. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Give them a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. Boy, it's the same old song, isn't it? And right now, this one doesn't sound too sweet. They've been thoroughly outclassed so far, and there's another tackle for a loss. Yeah, that's something that we've said quite a bit in this game. A big play to start the drive got them in this position, but this defense has held firm since, and now it's third and goal. 
Flushed out right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the and just, just want to get out that. of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Looking downfield for Godwin. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Alpha. Hey, hey, Wood. Check 52 to the mic. Check 52 to the mic. Pick it up, pick it up. Easy. Pick it up. Pick it up. To throw is Brady. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Oh, shifty. Whoa! Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Operating from the gun. Love. Eluding the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there. But, you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. And he's going to go down again. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Looking to throw. Love. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The former number one overall pick, Jadavian Clowney, has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff.
And now the punt team couldn't get ready in time, and this is going to be a delay. Here's Sam Martin now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is taken around the 12. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Bucks are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Brady now on first down. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Brady will try again on second down. Spins past him. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Brady's throw there complete. The 20. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 42 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Come on. You better bring it. Hey, Delta. Now Brady again. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. To throw again on second down. Brady, and he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Check, 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 check. By 52, by 52. So don't say nothing. No, 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 check that, check that. We're going to Shotgun now for Brady. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they get a fourth quarter pick, a little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Back to throw. Love. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Watch block, motion, block, block, block. Looking to throw. Love. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. We've got a lopsided game here. I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Brady going to throw here. He's going to fire one deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Throwing on first down is Brady. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. Now Brady. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take it the next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get it there to D.D. Westbrook. That'll bring up second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing again. Love. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Third down. Love. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off.
off right around the 43. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So after the INT, it's Brady. There goes a deep ball, end zone. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the Bucks, the win moves them a couple games over 500 now at 7-5, and five, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. and eight, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.